Hi everyone, my name is Patrick. Score 100 percentile 6 times in the CAT exam. And this specific video is basically how to prepare for CAT 22 if you're starting from October 21. So that means you have 14 months, almost 14 months time to prepare. So how do you plan? Because what happens is when you start a little early, people while away their time and they don't prepare. There are very few people who can you know sustain the preparation. Also, if they start preparing, they Planning is not really good. I mean, so this specific video is to help you understand how to prepare. So it's a series of four videos. The first video is just in general how to prepare for CAT 22. Second, we will have specifically for con section, for DRL section, as well as verbal section. Okay, so four specific videos. We start with the first, the overall plan of preparing for CAT 22. So as you know, CAT has three sections, the verbal section, the DILR section, the CON section, the three sections which are there for the CAT examination, the CAT paper, right? So these are three sections. I normally recommend you to start with a mock. How does mock help? It helps you understand the paper pattern, types of questions that come in the exam because the type of question that normally come in the exam will be a little different from the books. So it's important for you to be aware that, okay, the type of question, the weightage of questions that come in the exam and accordingly, it will help you in terms of preparation. It is also good if you can write a mock maybe on regular intervals, maybe once in two months or once in three months in the start, so that you know and you're aware of the paper as such. Also, writing the mock will help you to know your weak area and your strong area. Important because when you're preparing for CAD, the focus should be on weak area because most of the top colleges has sectional cutoffs. So if you can clear sectional cutoffs, you will get a call. And to clear the sectional cutoffs, you need to score well in your weak area. So focus on your weak area when you're preparing for CAT. Right? Okay. Now, first round of preparation so, is the basic syllabus. So I would recommend that you complete the basic syllabus from October 21 to Jan 22, four months time. So try to complete the syllabus during this particular period, the entire syllabus. Now you would think, yeah, this January is too early to complete the syllabus. But have a target early in place because that will motivate you to prepare. Also, when you cover the basic syllabus, just do the basic syllabus. Don't go to advanced level questions, etc. So that you're aware of the entire syllabus, what's happening. The focus should be on completing the syllabus on time and understanding fundamentals. The reason I'm putting this across because a lot of people take a lot of time to complete a syllabus. They complete a syllabus by May, June, and then they realize they've oh, forgotten everything that I've done in the past. And then again, start rev revising. So I say start with the basic syllabus first till Jan 22. So your basic is covered as such. Not too much, just the basic theory, some few easy sums and go ahead with it. Second round of preparation should be from Feb 22 to June 22, where you again go to the entire syllabus. Now this is five months time, but little difficult sums. Okay, solving slightly tougher sums and revising the concept. So now you're also doing the revision, which is happening. So you have one level of syllabus over, now you're again doing the revision of concepts. The focus out here now, because your basics are clear, is to get better methods. So you understand the topic better. And because you understand the topic, you will be able to get better methods. Don't wait for the third round to get a better method. Start as early as possible. It's better that way. You need to get used to better methods as far as possible. So start with second round of preparation, such that you try to get better methods. Third round will be practice plus mocks. That means you don't only practice the sum, but you also write the mocks and try to prepare. So somewhere after June, that is July to November, the focus will be purely writing mocks, trying to see where you stand and trying to improve or search. So focus is building strategy, identifying areas to improve and practicing those areas so that you can improve on those areas. Okay. Third round of preparation. So these are broadly telling you what the three rounds of preparations are that will help you to prepare. So next videos I'll talk about the first round of preparation because that's focus. So first round of preparation for CONT, for DILR as well as verbal. What is expected of you and what will help you to get the best outcome? Right. Yeah. Thank you.